Hey guys, Sean here again with Briar Home Buyers, and today we're going to go over alternatives to listing your houses for sale. Uh, so we have four key ways we're going to go over uh, how to handle not listing your house. Uh, sometimes the task of listing your house and dealing with agents, commissions, uh, the fees associated with that, that they could potentially be hiding or all the marketing that they're gonna do, have people driving by and open houses, uh, showing your house on nights and weekends, it's not for everyone. So the alternatives that we have uh, are gonna make your life a little bit easier if you choose to go down that route. Uh, and they're not always gonna fit into what you have planned with your lifestyle, so that's why we have four options. The first one is rent to own. Uh, disclaimer, you'll want to go get a contract from your local attorney, your real estate attorney. And what you'll do with the rent to own is you have somebody put down a pretty significant down payment on your property, um, maybe 10, 15%, 20%. Uh, the clientele base that you're gonna have who are gonna want to rent to own your property are people who can't get loans from the bank. And it may be because they have minor blemishes on their credit uh, they've had a bankruptcy. Uh, we know that was uh, pretty relevant in the Great Recession. Uh, people just happened to lose their homes. And uh, like people may still be able to afford very easily uh, the mortgage payment, but they just aren't able to get a loan from the bank because of the credit score. Uh, I wouldn't let that turn you off. Uh, there's plenty of capable people who are out there willing to purchase your property. Uh, the benefit of having rent to own is you're acting like the bank. So if somebody defaults on your property, you get to keep their down payment of the $20,000 and however many monthly payments they've made to you. And then you just get to go resell the property again. So you have to have them move out and then that could be eviction or they may just move out on their own. And then you can get another 20% down payment and then sell it again. So there, there is a benefit of that. Uh, don't be afraid of somebody defaulting on you uh, if you choose to take that route. So the first one's rent to own. Uh, just to recap on that. And the rent to own strategy is somebody puts a down payment on there. Uh, they typically pay a higher than normal rent rate for your property. So if your rent rates in your market are, are $1,000 a month, uh, your tenant or your client may be paying $1,250 and then they pay that month monthly payment for two years and then they pay cash for your property. This gives them time to repair their credit and then get a bank loan and then that bank loan will pay off you and buy the property from, the, or from you. Uh, the second one is turn your property into a rental property. Uh, some people may not like the idea of this. Uh, if your numbers work on your property, you purchased it correctly, uh, just a disclaimer, most people don't. Uh, most people max out their primary residence uh, mortgage or purchase amount. So if your numbers work, it can be a great strategy because you can just put that property under a property management company and let them manage that for you. And then you really don't have to look at that property again. Uh, what they're going to do is just send you a monthly check, uh, but make sure that you vet out all the local property managers and you get the proper one who's going to actually take care of your property. and. Uh, go by and look at some of the properties they're managing and look at the reviews from Google on that property. If they have a lot of really good reviews, they're probably a good company to go with. Uh, third one is selling direct to investor. Uh, that's where we come in, we're professional home buyers. Uh, the benefit of selling directly to an investor is if you're struggling with your property uh, or you just, yeah, you just wanna get out of your house, you can just come to us, we'll make you a fair cash offer, and you can just walk away from your property. You're able to just take what you want, uh, heirlooms, uh, all the goods that you want, anything that you want to leave behind, you leave in the house, you don't have to update it, you don't have to do anything, you can just walk away, move to your new place, and we will handle removing all the junk, we'll handle paying uh, back taxes if you have any, we'll handle taking tenants out of your property and evicting them. Uh, Basically, we'll handle everything. You just hand the property over to us and it's a wash for you. You can just walk away from it and relieve that headache. Uh, the fourth option is just going straight to auction. What's great about straight to auction is uh, 
the marketing companies for these auction, uh, I guess, procedures, they're going to market your property pretty heavily and create a little bit of hype for your property. And then investors will come in and if it's priced correctly, uh, they're going to start really low. Uh, and they're going to try to bid up your property and create a little buzz for it. Uh, the benefit of that is that it's going to close very quickly and they're going to pay with cash and you're going to get to close by a certain date. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but if you need help deciding, uh, just to recap, you have rent to own, you have a rental property, uh, then you have direct to investors like us, or you have going to auction. Uh, if you want to figure out what strategy works best for you and your property, you can fill out a form at our website or give us a call. We'd happily talk to you about your options. Thanks, guys.